Hey guys, thanks for coming back. You know, we've made a bunch of mods to this sled. And when you do something like that, running the stock set up in the clutch, not gonna really work for you. That sled was built for the trail, whipping down the trail pretty fast, high speed kind of stuff. The engagement on the clutch won't be the same. We don't want it to be the same when we're playing in the powder. So, I got a bunch of parts from Sledhead Racing out in uh, the States. I got a different spring. I got some weights to add in there. When you put this thing together, you're gonna to need these little clips here to hold the buttons in place. And I need a spring compression tool to pull everything apart. Now this isn't a very hard job. You can do this at home. It's pretty easy peasy. So we'll just get right into it. After you've pulled the clutch off, you just separate the top from the bottom. It's only held on there by splines. Pop that out of the way. Just stick your fingers down in between here. Pop the clutch up. Now you gotta watch, there are a bunch of springs and little buttons and everything in place here, so you don't wanna lose any of that stuff. Make sure all the splines are good. I know that this clutch was rebuilt a couple years ago, so I'm not really concerned with any issues on here. It also has quick clickers, so I can adjust it on the trail. In order to get this spring out, we need a compression tool. And all that really does is, holds this down while you can unscrew those Allen headed bolts. So I brought my tool down. All I do is just put a little bit of slight pressure on it. Then I'm just gonna undo my Allen bolts here. One thing I should mention as well is, there are little hash marks on here. These are alignment marks. Make sure that if you don't have these marks on each part, you know, each sheave, that you mark it yourself with a marker, magic marker or something. You gotta align it in the proper position when you're done with it, or else it'll be out of balance. Now the bolts are out. Now you just release the spring pressure. I'm doing this. Not quite sure why they put such a long threaded rod on here. <laughs> Must have been working on some pretty tall clutches. You'll notice that this has an alignment mark on it as well. There's my old spring. Before I do anything, you know what? I don't like the look of that, so I'm gonna clean that out. Before I put that spring in, I gotta get these old pins out so I can put the new ones in with the extra weight. We've installed the pin. Now, according to the sled head instructions, we wanna get about 16.4 grams, including the pin in here. Now, we can't get exactly 16.4 with all of these, but I do have quick clickers on there, so I do have some adjustments. I can get 16.6 grams if I use one shorty, and one medium set screw. So we're gonna add these. I'll put the small one in first. What you do is you just turn that all the way down to the bottom. Goes right into where the cotter pin is. There we go. I'm just gonna reinstall this. So I put my new pins in. We've got about 16.6 grams in total. If I need to do some adjustments, I'll mess with my quick clickers. And if that doesn't do it, we'll just pull it off, make some more adjustments later on. I put everything in this little bag. Don't want to lose any of this information or my weights. So now we've got to put this new spring in. Now the spring is different than the one that came on it, as you can see. Sled head racing suggested I use this one. It's got different engagement points on it. So we're gonna try that out and see how it works. Remember I said about the mar alignment mark. There it is right there. I've got that mark on here. So that's where we're gonna place it. Alignment marks. You just want to make sure that this goes on square and that you're not forcing it on. Never force these in because it is white metal. You will bend something. So now we need to put this back on our clutch. Now we need to put these little buttons in with these springs. I'm going to do one at a time. 
attachment. You need to put these O-rings on the back of these little buttons. One on either side. There are little grooves on these buttons as well. And you need those aligned so you can slip your little tool on that holds everything in place. There we go. They just hold it in place as a guide so you can slip it down across the clutch. To make these two halves together, there's your alignment mark, there is a mark on this part of the sheave. So we're just going to slip this down on top where it's supposed to go. And we're just going to push it down. Nice and gently, of course, you go. So everything's held together now. Our springs are in there. Now we're going to make these two halves. Now you look for an alignment mark on here, and there's one right here. You can see it on the back, a little notch. The alignment mark goes to there. Slip the clutch down over top. That's it. This carbon choke cleaner cleans off the clutch pretty easily. Let's put that on the sled. I've just popped the clutch on the shaft. I haven't tightened up the motor mounts yet because I want to align these two clutches. I want to show you something really cool I found. Nextech uh, carbonsled.com had this titanium clutch primary bolt. I picked that up for real cheap. They're about 35 bucks, which is amazing. You know, I shaved a bit of weight off the sled. One thing you got to make sure you do, use a little bit of anti-seize on these bolts. I'll slip that in. Now we use this fancy tool to hold the clutch. I'm going to tighten it on, but I'm not going to go gangbusters on it because this is just coming back off when it goes to jaws. There we go. You know, if you have to make some adjustments to your primary clutch, that's probably the easiest thing I've ever done. So don't feel intimidated by it. If you need to do it, call the pros, go online, figure out what you need to do. If you know if you're modding your sled, you need to change the pin weights or a spring, it's not a big deal. Most guys have a tool to, you know, to compress your spring. You can ask one of them if you can borrow it. Not a big deal. But thanks for coming out. If you like my videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Thanks a lot for coming.